Hello. Yes, 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 yes. Morkavian here with his madness uncontrollable. <laughs> Irrational. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But most of all, you know, I'm insane. Yeah? When you're insane and you're dead. Oh boy, oh boy. It's a lot of trouble. 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 <laughs> Let me tell you what it was. The suspect, the usual suspect of today's retelling of a tale. Of a Malkavian tale. Well, I must have known because he was following me everywhere I went. And he was yellow and long and uh, mm, a little soft around the edges, if I may speak. And so I bite into it and I ask him, who are you? Who are you? And I squeeze and I realize it's just a fucking banana. Bananas, right? <laughs> always make you think that they're following you. But little do they know. Yeah, little do they know. <laughs> that they got you by the throat? No. They got you by the hands? No. Some psychiatric doctors. They want to get you by the scrotum. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, we were gamers. We're crazy. We get crazy by the <laughs> we crazy, crazy by the minute. Hmm. <laughs> uh, we don't know, know how crazy we are, you know. Sometimes we're here. Mm. Sometimes we're there. Sometimes, hmm, what's that? Hmm, two voices. Yeah. Tell me something. What am I doing? Nope, it's gone. <laughs> But, you know, more or less, existential crisis. Being an undead is depressing enough. Being the undead with mental illness, we're talking about, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, another kettle, another whole bowl, another kind of coin coming out of the fucking fumbles and uh, chasing us and uh, engaging us and uh, embracing us. <laughs> but we were cavians. Oh, you can say. And we don't care. <laughs> How crazy we care. <laughs> because we're what cavians. Doctors do not understand us. No, they don't. They don't understand us. No, sir. They don't. But we do. We do understand. Because we're Clamarcavian. <laughs> and trust me, I'm a South American Malcavian. <laughs> what can I say? Being Malkavian, being the undead, being mentally <laughs> ill on another whole level and coming from South America. Well, yeah, South America, land of legends, isn't it? Myths. Yeah. We've got the Incas and we got the Aztecs. Mm -hmm. They were bloody. Yeah, bloody tribe. They spilled blood for sacrifice to their gods. But who were the gods? That's a question. Well, some say there were this so called men that turned themselves into jaguars, some say men that turned themselves into black panthers, and some say they turn into giant bats. Get it? Giant bats. Yes! But they worshipped. <laughs> the Lord of the Bats. They worship El Señor de los Murcielagos. Clan Classicle. <laughs> and yeah, they're very ancient. 
the very old and powerful, some may say. I saw Jomir, yeah, a little fascinated by my Malkavian abilities. Can't say that I clashed with Jomir yet. But there will come some disputes. As I, Malkavian, <laughs> son that's pretty much clueless to what goes on with reality. Yeah, at the same time, yes, yes, at the same time, you know. I am, <laughs> you guessed it, I am sometimes aware of the, uh, not the questions, but the answers, or maybe not the answers, just the questions. <laughs> and the voices in my head, too. the so-called dispute between so-called the uh, Lord of the Tremere versus the Lord of the Trasigle. Now that's an encounter. That's up in the, right up in the legendary books, the legends, the myths of the so called vampires. Vampires everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Huh? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, you know, it's going on, Katie. That's a vampire. That's totally wrong. That's crazy. Hearing voices in my head. <laughs> you know. Down my heart, my crazy heart, be still my crazy heart. Quieto loco, quieto loco. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh well, yeah, I'm a knight of the moon, that's true. But I'm also fucking insane. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You know how it all goes. That's the way the madness flows. That's the way the, it goes. When you're fucking dead. You're fucking dead. But when you're fucking dead and it's safe. Shit. Oh, shit. You do not want to be like that. And then, I had to deal with this split person and Mondo Gecko. What the fuck? <laughs> right. Well, allow me to put the shoe inside my mouth. <laughs> allow me to spit some truth into your ears. <laughs> well... If it isn't, my dear friends, fellow Malkavians, where are they? Come on, come on, come on, wherever you are, don't be shy. We share the uh, Madness Network. We share the invitation. And it is the invitation that sometimes makes us, yes, who we are. <laughs> but it's not just because we like dementation for the sake of dementation no because it's a part of us mental illness is a part of us and then with this mental illness we can give it to those that are not so nice not so nice indeed I ponder I wonder also because coming back from the undead not once, twice, yes, cuts like a scissor, doesn't it? Or like a shark's mouth. <laughs> I'm debating. Could I become, have I inherited some strange powers from the abyss? Could I possibly become follower of the clown valley if it is a clown at all because you gotta understand valley are very few 
and mysterious. They say that God works in mysterious ways. Well, if we must okay even work in crazy ways, then Clan Valley, they work in uh, truly diabolical ways. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. <laughs> but uh, if you want to know what I'm feeling the way I'm feeling today, <laughs> Because we're a clown like Sometimes we do feel existential. And we do feel existential. But because we're so fucking insane, sometimes you just go over our heads and then <laughs> the coconut. Yes. A praise to, to coconuts. And, uh, <laughs> we just left with the feelings. Feelings are so irrational because we're clamor giving. Feelings are so irrational, yes. Well, let's use some dimentation here. Are you a bad person? You're a bad person. Dimentation on you. <laughs> Shit. Oh. But sometimes I feel bad because I didn't I mean, you know, like I go to the Elysium. I go to the Elysium and, uh, you know, lots of different clowns, different vampires. And, you know, I got a little nervous, got a little excited. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, was, I think I was breaching the masquerade. And the vampire said, shit, shit, don't let him go. Don't, don't let this guy go out. I think they were doing it for my own good. But at the time, I, I, I got scared. I freaked out. So I ran. So I'm like, oh, shit. And then they're like, fuck, don't let him go. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, shit. Oh, oh, turn around and whoa, limitation time. Limitation time. And then I see that I'm like, this is fucking great. I'm fucking riding on the streets like a madman. Like a lunatic. Oh, like a lunatic. Like a lunatic. Yeah. <laughs> What do you guys think was going to happen? You put me up against the wall, or shall we say? You were trying to not let me leave the club. Well, it was bad enough when I was alive, getting panic attacks. But hey, buddies, hey, my fellow vampires, trying to restrain me, I'm okay. It's never a good idea. Especially one that has a lot of dementation. And that's what happened. That's when I discovered my dementation. <laughs> and that's how I discovered how powerful my dementation was. Not only did it affect the bad boys, but uh, <laughs> between you and me, I think it affected uh, a lot of citizens of Brighton that night. <laughs> I would say, please, don't have nightmares, but uh, I gotta say, dementation is a beautiful bitch, isn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> well, not that uh, I'm trying to. Uh, find excuses, but uh, <laughs> I'm a bit of a body boy, aren't I? <laughs> a body boy, yeah, that's right, because I'm a bad, because I'm a vampire. <laughs> I'm a body boy. But um, at the same time, you know, I'm a, <laughs> you know, I'm a Clamorcavian. Let me tell you what Clamorcavian is. It's not just mentally ill for the sake of it. We already got it. Whether we want to or not. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because they understand we tortured souls. We torture souls. But we can be creative. We can be mischievous. Well, yes, you're not the Malkavians. I'm talking to you all. You know who you are. You're all mischievous, just like me. Yet we are all different. That's true. Just because you're hearing voices doesn't mean the voices in my head are any less real. <laughs> 
but uh, us being you know Kamal Kiwi means that we enjoy mischievousness but also sometimes I don't mean to sound Lovecraftian or cosmic horror like but uh, look into my eye we can see to the very fabric of reality to the very fabric of the universe <laughs> Really? Hmm? I'm hearing, I'm hearing voice. I'm hearing voice. Huh? What's, what's that? Really? You serious? <laughs> you never know. You never know what to ask Clever Kenya. Because, you know, we, we're like, a minute, you know, and the next minute it's like, I think you all, I think you know. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You must be thinking, am I the only insane person in the room? <laughs> Once the mutation's on you, <laughs> I won't be the only one who's crazy. Buddy, when the mutation's on you, I won't be the only one who's crazy in the room. You'll be crazier. You'll be getting crazy by the minute, and you'll be fucked. <laughs> Just like that. One is to be anti, and two is to be crazy in the head, but three is to be dementation time. One, two, dementation time. And three. <laughs> what was I meant to say? Three before dementation time. What was I supposed to say three times? Dementation time, dementation time, dementation time. You may call me a wacko, but it's the first, sir. I felt to express myself as a caregiver. You might look down on me, my fellow vampires may look down on me. Like, you know, the so called clan bruja, you know, or the Arabs. They might look down on me and say, like, oh, he's a Mark Kevin, he's a bloody Mark Kevin. Can't trust him because he's mentally ill. Well, how dare you? I could say the same thing. You're a bunch of anarchists. Yeah, I'm all up for revealing freedom, but look down on me. What makes you think you're better than the Camarilla? Huh? What makes you think that you're better than the Camarilla? Camarilla, you know, they, they, they say to me, like, oh, we, you know, uh, give up your dementations and we'll look after you. I'm not going to give up my dementation. Why should I give up my dementation? What's your like? What's your like? Hmm? <laughs> dementation defines me. It is. The beautiful dementation. It's like when I drink absinthe. I love absinthe, right? Because there wouldn't be any point if it wasn't absinthe. So it's the same time. Drink of madness, power of madness. What's the point of being a if, 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 if you don't have dementation? If you don't have dementation. Dementation is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, ladies and gentlemen. But you might think, you might think, like a slap to the dogs, like a fish being slapped to my face. Hmm? You might think, am I this way or that way? Maybe I'm upside down. Or maybe you might think that my hair is messy. Well, there's a reason why my hair is messy. Because my head is not over there, buddy. And you know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have I told you? I'm not caving. How many times have I told you, buddy? I am Valerian. <laughs> How many times have I told you, buddy? Don't forget your Ventolin. <laughs> How many times have I told you, buddy? My friend's called Lee Venton. <laughs> How many times have I told you, buddy, that I'm totally insane? <laughs> How many times have I told you, buddy, that the coins 
from the phone book, Chase Me. He chased me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? Highs and lows. One minute we're feeling like shit. And the next minute it's like, mm, mm, bosh, bosh. <laughs> we feel better. We're slightly better. But oh, who's crazy? Don't tell me. Ah, that's my kids. You know? You're making me like pubs. Far be it. We'll always find purpose behind every prank, behind every little crazy thing we do. Because nothing is accidental. Everything is instrumental. Everything is instrumental. There is a method behind the madness, isn't there? <laughs> My fellow kindred, you must be thinking. What the hell is going on with this person? I am thinking two things. One, boy oh boy, I need some blood. And three, I am insane. <laughs> Do you understand? Do you speak the lingo? <laughs> Do you want to play some bingo? <laughs> I thank you. I thank you because without saying people, hey, let me get into this debate. This is a thing that just as the Anku terrifies the very core of our Malkavian. You may wonder, what am I scared of? Well, I'm scared of normal people. Normal people terrify me. That's why, as a defense mechanism, I turn normal people into insane people. Insane. Insane. into my eye, look into my eye of madness, yes, 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 look into my eye of madness, and you will understand the power that's inside of me, the power of madness, demandation, it's great, is it, oh. there, something you think is, uh... I know, because it's, this madness is inside of me, Last night, I went looking for some blood, and um, I found two different avenues, two different options. And my kids, who suffer already split persons, or maybe many split personalities, you know. We have to be careful who we choose to pick. It could be <laughs> tough. Put you in a mass career altogether. But then again, we fucking use the meditation anyway on the fuckers that want to come chasing after us. <laughs> yes, yes. It's true. It's true. Trust me. I'm be so many come Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Look into my eyes. What is in my eyes? You will see the sound of madness. You will hear something crazy. Yeah, yeah. It is hard, you know, sometimes being the undead. You never know if. 
you're going to get fed or not. I happen to be one of the lucky ones. Because School of Shadows is actually both, you know, the living and the undead. Or we can get donors for me and all the vampires. So I guess you could say more or less I'm more of a caregiver. But I've been lucky that I've got great bodyguards. Probably that's why they take good care of me. They look after me. And you could say maybe with my dementation I do look after them as well. If only the papayas were green. And if only you could hear the guacamole, 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 guacamole calling me. Yes, yes. It's a true story. Papayas and guacamole, huh? Love story of some sorts. A love story for the Malkavian audience. Or the dimension of it. Is it the dimension of it taking effect now? Taking effect now. What do you think? Do you think that because I have I'm dead and totally insane there's no point in what I say? Or would you say the other way around? Because I'm dead and I uh, totally insane, then maybe I do have some insight into things that most living beings don't ever get to see or understand. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Really? <laughs> well, you think that <laughs> you're crazy than I thought. Me? I'm just a weirdo. My name is Aguero and I'm a Malkavian. I am Aguero the Malkavian. <laughs> yes, it's good to be mad, isn't it? <laughs> it's crazy, but I love it. It's only madness, but I like it. <laughs> And they say madness packs a punch. Yes, it does. Punch to the gut. Oh, a punch to the teeth. Oh, a punch to the balls. Oh, oh I did it too hard. Oh. All right. Look at my hair. Look at this hair. It's messy. That's how we make Kevin's like our hair. To be messy. We're scruffy lot, aren't I? We're scruffy lot, aren't we? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I'll take you on. I'll take you on uh, with my dimension. That's what it went down. That's how it went down. When I was fighting and I would have fought with a you know night of the moon when I would have fought with Sabbath, you know, it was great, great times. I was a yeah. I was a it was a night. I was you know, discipline was my discipline. <laughs> yeah. My discipline was part of on the royal court. And it was good. Kept me well as much as it can be 
you know. But yeah, it was good. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a great time to fight for the soul of K. It's a great time to fight for the soul of K. Who would have thought, eh? Don't give him a new. Well, I'm not becoming a loyal follower of Lord Ugrasa fighting for the soul of K. Condition is when I was alive, I might have looked a bit more alive, and now I look a bit paler. I look a bit paler, yeah. Temporary hiding in my tomb and my school of shadows. What am I saying? If I was to go out there, like right now, like what? What are you saying? I was going out oh, there, like right now. Man, I'm in trouble. I'm in real trouble. Because that's, you know, that's not how it's done. Like a fish on a hook, <laughs> but you know, coming back to that, yeah, it's a great honor to find on Lord of Grass Hill for the sword of Cain. Great honor, what is it? What is it? What, what, what is it? The Malkavian crazy? Or was crazy thing of the Malkavian? Was I, uh, yeah. Well. Let's just say Dr. Nat Church. He got away in his house because he was evil. How could he do this to his own kindred? To his own kind? It was Malkavian. And, and, and he was, you know, torturing my kids in, in the hospital. And that's what happened, right? It's traumatic for me. <laughs> but it's traumatic. Sorry, it's my quirk. But it was traumatic. It was. You know, he captured me. He uh, locked me up in the psychiatric hospital. And he, you know, not only did he keep me there for a long time, but... You know, he was an experiment on me. But you know, I yeah. <laughs> broke, broke the straps and, uh, you know, fought my way out. You know, slashed and beat and, uh, and boom, boom. You know, once more with hunger. When I came to my senses, I realized that the whole nurses and uh, psychiatric nurses and uh, psychiatrists they've been uh, destroyed so anyway I uh, big heavy doors well that's when I discovered I was a vampire that's when I discovered I had I was stronger than a normal human person because I um, You know, <laughs> through doors away. Yes. Big heavy doors. I open. Through them away. What the fuck, right? <laughs> and, uh. Yes. And, um. You know. Yeah. I went out there into the woods. And, uh, start running. It would have taken me three hours at least to get to uh, shore. But I discovered that I had this celerity thing, this uh, vampire speed. And uh, yeah, it was faster than a human being. Because it only took me about an hour to get to shore. I know Tom Leventon's house, and then I, uh, 
Just my uh, dementation. I'm telling my son this yoban. So let's just say before I had a chance to say, Dad, get rid of this guy. <laughs> he was under my spell. Yes, yes, yes. And um, ever since, you know, yeah, he's been my middle man. He's been my, uh, yeah, he deals with my finances and all my uh, block donors, you know, things like that. Like I said, security that was uh, glorious. You must be wondering what goes on inside the mind of a monkey. And I wonder sometimes. Utter shit. And that. A little bit of. I can't quite put my finger on it, but yeah, the voices, the madness network, which is like I having like an internet, you know, like a fucking internet inside your fucking hey, excuse me, not now, not the conversation, no, yes, I know who you are, I know you're the voices, but I can't do it now because I'm having a conversation, okay, all right, well, who you are, what you are. You know the voice. Then who are you? <laughs> Go away. If you're not the voice, I don't talk to you. End of. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Hmm? Do you think that maybe there's a possibility that. Uh, you know, when I was undead for the second time, after Marla, before Marla brought me back from the dead, and you know, Marla's my childer. Well, I can speak Mondo Gecko's childer. Crazy, I know. <laughs> so is my life as the undead. Okay, we just. dead for the second time I went to a place called Oblivion and there was a, a maze and afterwards I ended up in a place called the Avis and I think it was my friend yeah he said he was my friend and I said, yeah we were early in the afternoon, it was enough. And my friend could interact between this one and the other one. And uh, I was amazed by my abilities, of, which a lot of us have taught me about, you know, of celebration. To the point where she thought I was kind of zombra. But me going, <laughs> this laughter, <laughs> made him realize that I was insane. Me, yeah, you realize I was too fucking insane, too fucking fucked up to be climbing someone, so realize I was okay, and then he realized I was his friend. Then I realized, yeah, this guy looked like my friend. What the fuck, right? <laughs> and then I was dancing, I was going, hey, hey, now. This is the shadows. And it goes. My Patreon bits, bits the welcome to the eyes. <laughs> Who are you, buddy? Who are you? Really? I guess. Most vampire consider me to be a thing of. Terror. 
thing of dark fairy tales and stories that you went to your child to scare them here in McLean Valley. And then don't upon me that it's crazy as hell. The so called Cloud Valley, which I sense a lot of darkness, was possibly my brother, Dave, who, yeah, who used to be, and then they all came back to me. We used to be uh, paranormal investigators, and we used to go to, you know, Abandoned St. Kildare Hospital and an abandoned Abbey Church. And it was there that weird things happened because, yeah, uh, there must have been a kindred, a fucking volcano that stalked me. So it wasn't a ghost. We were looking for ghosts and we found that. This fucking volcano turned me, sorry me, turned me to fucking volcano. And then, uh, he explained to me, he just put his hand on my head and then with my dimension I could sense what happened to him. And I saw the images and they were like, oh God, you know, like, I saw all the spirits and demons going through him. Like something out of a, yeah, like something out of a, Highlander movie or some shit like that. It was fucking crazy. And it's the craziest shit I know. And trust me, I know about crazy shit because I'm a fucking Malkavian. And trust me, because I'm South American. And, um, yeah. That's an evil cave. Valley. So it tells me some abilities in the valley. And, uh, and then my fucking antichrist alter ego got triggered again. And then it was along the lines of, you know, I went up to the gardens and demons and said, hey, do you know who I am? I'm the antichrist. And um, but I think my friend must have had something to do with it because he, uh, yeah, he went up to them. Next thing I know, I'm back. They let me through the the abyss, the fucking abyss, and um, yeah, through. But I think in flashbacks, my dear friend Dave, he was teaching me about the black cards. Oh, yeah, the black cards, and I was Malefish or whatever it's called, you know, there was this ability that was like dementation, but on a fucked up scale, you know, on a much dark. Much more on my level of potency, and um, yeah, who Tremere would be after this, but uh, came back to now, you know, I'm suffering from existential crisis. I don't know, should I stay or should I go? Like the song says, you know, tengo brillos en los ojos. <laughs> I don't want to stay. I don't want to stay. What the fuck, right? I fucked up again. It was so beautiful. You know, I was going to go in a place of glory. Really, um, leave bloods and, you know, take care of the corporation. That, you know, did so much harm to my beautiful. Gloria Nesra. And, um, but it wasn't me. My child, uh, Marla, she, um, she gave me something bite of her blood and, uh, made me drink from it and, um, uh, yeah. And because my head wasn't severed, which was my head wasn't cut off, or I wasn't turned into men's beef. Um, yeah, I was able to come back from the dead, and with a little help of my friend, Dave, 
yeah, managed to get through the uh, oblivion and the uh, labyrinth and the uh, yeah, the uh, the abyss itself. Did you know it's, it's, it's hilarious? I mean, Mondo Gecko is like, Mondo Gecko, Mondo Gecko. I don't want to be me anymore. My head died a long time ago. I want to be Mondo Gecko, Mondo Gecko. What? What? Oh my god. My sister, Battle World War Cold, Battle World War Cold. Stay true. And, um, but with the blood of Antichrist, oh shit, I hate that alter ego. Greetings, England, and all the inhabitants of the world. This is your Antichrist speaking to all those tyrants that are shedding blood. And destroying lives with war mongering. I say to thee that you are barbarians and that you will be destroyed. And as you brought fear upon innocence, fear will be brought upon you. For this is the era of Lucifer, this is the era of my father, Lucifer. It is an era of love and prosperity and peace, not of war or hatred. There's no room for evil. See, the Bible labeled as evil, but the Bible was a lie. The church was a lie. Religious dogma was a lie. The truth in it is that God is cruel, but my father Lucifer is a kind devil. Yes. All he has is that we worship Lucifer. And then, what? What? What the fuck? You know? It's a fucking annoying personality. <laughs> We're fucking insane. What? We're fucking insane. <laughs> but just think about this. Just think about this for a bit. Right? Let's, let's, let's think about this. Let's analyze content. If it was something weird, if it was something that was fucked, that was fucked, that was fucked up, <laughs> you know, and um, yeah, you understand, being a good animal cave, because it's uh, ups and downs, it's uh, quirks, you know, but um, It is good. Very good. <laughs> Didn't we say we like to prank? <laughs> when it goes something like this. <laughs> we call. You ever heard the expression SWAT in, right? When you call in a. Say so certain people they get swore Well, we call drug drug dealers and they get swore in. The police show up and they fucking arrest the drug dealers. And what happens? I come in, I used to be taking the drug dealers for I'll take out all the, all the uh, yeah. And then um, police show up and then I used to be taking the police. It's hilarious. Because while the drug dealers and the police are fucking insane shooting each other. I just walk out with a gear. <laughs> they say that the stairway to heaven is made out of gear. Get it? Gear. Not drums and fucking guitars. But fucking... <laughs> and it's true. It is true. It is a known fact that, you know, when you give a little bit of dementation, blood tastes good. The same effect. You give a little bit of, you know, Narcotics drugs and fucking 
plug tastes great. <laughs> Just enough hint. And what about make them drink a little bit of a uh, yeah absinthe? Drink up my You do better. <laughs> Little by little, we understand what it is to be a Marquinhos, what it is to be a mentally ill vampire. Yes, 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 yes. True, isn't it? Oh man, those times making those fucking videos and hiding in hotel rooms, man. Shit, and listen to music and thinking that the music means that oh shit, I'm, I'm gonna end my life, it's gonna end in a minute now. I'm feeling some kind of consolation about that, but at the same time, feeling like shit that, that was only when I was human, that was even before I became a vampire. But then you could say a lot of things when I used to be human. My friend, my brother Dave will back you up. My brother, my friend Dave, he'll back you up. We used to be uh, part of investigators before we became vampires. And uh, the things that we do is like, you know, we'll have a, a radio. And it's true, man. You know, you, you go through radio channels and you ask questions sometimes. For, because right is for this. Spirits, you know, say energy. Advertisers used to say our energy cannot be destroyed, cannot be transformed. I like to think that with being a Malkamian, my uh, previous madness of bipolar wasn't destroyed, it was just transformed to something much worse, much more like that, which means, in other words, that I am fucked. <laughs> and I have, you know. When you're undead, you're in trouble. But when you're undead and you're mentally ill, you're fucked. <laughs> and, um, you know, you gotta understand that uh, we are Malkavian and we are crazy. And we, uh, Thank you all. You're such a lovely audience. We'd love to take you home. No, that's the whole point of School of Shadows. You know? There's rock and roll, but at the same time, a bit of coexistence, isn't it? I think the future is about coexistence. There is no place for uh... yeah. There is no place for hatred. I think love is a key. I think love is a great thing. Even I, my king, was crazy. <laughs> coconut, coconut. I can value. I can value something as beautiful as love. I love clothing, Ezra. Maybe it's not necessarily romantic, maybe it's just platonic. Maybe I love them just like, like a brother, you know, like, they're like my sisters, you know. I know what love is, I care, I love, I'm a caregiver. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, have we found something to be satisfied? Well, for us vampires, blood satisfies us. But what about for us Malkavian? Well, for us uh, Malkavians, we find that uh,
here we find that a little bit of blood a little bit of absence a little bit of uh, insanity a little bit of dementation goes a long way to the panorama of the end time when you come out of Plato's cave and see the incredible reality truthfully do television speak to us yes or no I experienced this a long time ago bear with me Yes. Um, well, it's not like they fucking talk to us, but you can get paranoid watching it. You see a uh, soap opera or even someone playing the lottery, and there's something in it that's telling you, that's the universe telling you that something's going on with you. It is. What it is. It is what it is. This is a so called return to form. This is a, you know, do not about caving and redux. Yeah, welcome to do not about caving and redux. Yeah, this is episode here when I'm talking. This is a drill on the Malkavian Redux. You might wonder what's, what was happening. Well, some people out there don't like what I'm doing. Well, it's okay. They don't like my video. Well, let's just make a new one. <laughs> I mean, why should I live in terror? Yeah, even that's the whole point, right? I mean, <sighs> breaking a bit of the fourth wall here, but uh, trying to stay in character. If you do something good, then it's good, right? I mean, just because someone says, oh, you know. Are you making those videos? There could be consequences. Well, it's art, it's performance. Enough of that. Let's get back into character. Let's get back into the story. So, child, I was doing my game and I had my uh, school of shadows, which was in a abandoned church, which lived in the final for me. And, uh, I had my bodyguards clothing as well. And then little by little we found out rumors and then it became terrifying facts of an amazing guy. Amazing uh, interesting character called Lord Udrasio. And he was uh, a great leader. A great uh, someone that uh, was one one to fight for all of us vampires so that we vampires could have a better existence a better life and uh, yeah I was inspired because uh, well I'm the founder of School of Shadows and he's the Lord of Shadows so there we go right but eventually I had to of course let everyone leave and uh, I asked Claude and Astra if they wanted me to sign and turn them into rambles or if they wanted to become gold therefore become stronger 
and go their own ways and uh, yeah they want to be goals so I turn them into goals and let them go their own ways and for a while you know I thought I did the right thing and then I uh, yes 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 don't judge me I'm just a humble narrator so uh, yeah Kosha Baratel coming up so uh, you know I can believe it. I can believe it that uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sorry, it's my quirk. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a okay, man. <laughs> so, so, uh, what was I? What was I? So, uh, I thought I did the right thing, you know, let them go their own ways. And uh, I went and joined the Sabbath, the Soul of King. And I became a loyal follower of uh, Lord of Death, so I became an oracle. And I fought many times. Because by then, I had resentment grown towards certain humans that were abusing vampires. Uh, the stories of experiments and things like that. Even the possibility that Milk on that church was working for these human corporations, evil corporations, these evil bastards that were experimenting especially on the thin bloods. So in the end I asked permission to leave and go on my own way. And I kept myself to myself for a while. Until the time was right, when I couldn't hide anymore, I had to take vengeance on the corporations and that church along with it. Yeah, Doctor Not Church and the corporation killed two birds with one stone. Man, this was dark times. Who would have thought, eh? Who would have thought that, uh, you know, they underestimated me. They thought I was just a crazy monkey, but by then I was an a very powerful monkey. And I had the sword that uh, Lord Ludrasso gave to me as a memento before I left. It's bad. And with this clay sword, this amazing beautiful sword, and I wielded Mondo Gecko because by then I could use <laughs> yes yes I could use Mondo Gecko as a weapon and then of Telebration and Maleficia is a you know thing that uh, my brother Dave who was Bali taught me Told you that. Where? Incognito? Marla says that the incognito now is looking for me. What? Marla? Where are you? Don't see past. Interesting. It seems. Uh, I can see three things. An eye drawn, symbol of an eye. Marla getting caught up in something. A flood. Oh my god. There are all these events. What were the questions? What? What were the questions? Sorry. What is it again in my head? Or is it just my imagination? Did I say I'm insane? (laughs) 
or something. Sometimes life gives you grenades. When life gives you grenades, you just gotta keep on fighting. Just gotta keep on being a good person. Because of it past you are. And so you will understand. You will understand. Yes, you will. And you can't tell the truth. Trust me, you must have a very good one, Kiwi. <laughs> if you only understood the mind of a monkey, would you find that it's cosmic horror Lovecraftian? Or would you find that it's just fucked up? <laughs> my, my. My fragile little boy. Oh, here comes a new personality. I'm the sheriff. So you better respect my authority, okay? I'm the sheriff. And you better respect my authority. What? Do all these multiple personalities. When are we going to be sure? All these multiple personalities. When will I be famous? No. What? Girl, you know it's true. What? No. <laughs> all these cheesy songs. Is it the audience or am I, or is it the fucking radio from the 80s? What the fuck? <sighs> Enough said for now. Well, if I'm still here, who knows, I might, might do another video. But for now, this is Clown and we're all keeping saying goodbye. Goodbye for now. And uh, do I have another word? Yeah. Trust me. I'm a South American. I'll keep you.